Hey guys, today I'm gonna do a split on my horizontal hive. I'm gonna move the queen and some brood and uh, food to another horizontal hive. I'm not gonna do a split within the hive. I could just split them in half, but um, I will do that maybe some other time. This time we're gonna just take some brood, the queen, and put them, do a walk away split basically. Um, so I found three weeks in a row that they're making queen cups and queen cells, and that's not gonna stop, and I keep um, having to actually go in there and take them apart but I don't want to do that all summer long so I'm just gonna do a split that they're gonna stop doing that they're gonna think they, they um, some of the bees left and they're gonna make a new queen and then we'll go from there so let's get started so I've got a box here I'm just gonna actually put uh, maybe five six frames in here a couple of food frames the queen and some brood capped off brood hopefully some that's been capped for a while you can just actually um it's gonna hatch soon so let's get through here i did mark some of the frames that had green cups so that's gonna make life easier let's get one frame out so we can work with the bees last time i checked queen was up here she was laying on this side it is a huge hive so she can be anywhere we'll have to find her because if you don't find her, it doesn't work, basically. Ah, look at that sting. Come on, girl. I'm just trying to give you a new home. All right, let's pull this out. Again, we got to find the queen in order for this to work, so... It'll be a process going slow. She is marked. She has a little bit of red on her. But it's almost off, so it's just kind of hard to see. I'll actually just put this in here for now. That's not a frame we're gonna keep. I'm gonna show you which frames I'm gonna keep. Or not keep, I should say move. So this frame has larvae in all stages. Um, there's some food, some nectar and pollen. This side looks good, we might keep this frame. A little bit of capped off brood. Just checking to see if there are eggs and other things going on. This has a little bit of capped off brood too. Um, these are hatching bees, so actually gonna probably keep this frame. Again, this hive is huge, so I can really take a lot of frames. And it's not gonna hurt them that much. They'll, they will have to requeen themselves. That's, that's the part we have to wait for. Not much going on here, so we'll just leave this alone. Take my divider board out because I'm gonna need that. Because I'm gonna need this to downsize this hive too. So this hive is gonna be downsized because I'm gonna take a whole bunch of frames, they're not gonna have a queen and they don't need all that room there's a lot of nectar and pollen in this one same thing on this side beautiful frame though i am looking for the queen saw her before but probably won't see her now when i need to see her we're just gonna leave them this frame. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take a food frame from the other end, the last one. Because I saw that one before and I know it has a lot of a lot of nectar and pollen all together. This one has food all throughout the frame, so I'm not worried to leaving them hungry or anything like that. Oh lord, where you at girl? I do see a lot of drones around here, so that's a good thing. Because you don't want to do a split, I hear, when there are no drones. <laughs> Queen can't get mated. Alright. We can just blink and miss her. She can go under the frame. But I can't really do a split unless I can find her. 
because I gotta take her away from these bees. Oh, I see her. Beautiful. So, there she is. Look at that lady. Beautiful queen. So now we've got the queen. We're gonna pull her right in the middle here so I can keep an eye on her. Actually, I should probably uh, take the little cage clipper, keep her in there so she doesn't get away, but we won't need all that. I won't need to do all that. I don't think I should. So this is full of eggs. Even though it's not drawn out all the way, it is full of eggs on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this frame too. Once I have the frames from here, I'm going to take you over and show you. I did set up a few more frames that I'm going to keep. I'm um, just drawing comb clean just so she can lay eggs. She can start the colony quickly back up. All right, so now I got, I need a couple of more frames. So we're going to need some capped off brood. That's what I'm looking for. This, something like this, exactly. Look at that. Um, they're probably about to hatch, these bees. Um, how I know is because the comb is so, it's so dark, like brown dark. That means they'll be walking over it for a long time. Another full frame and some larvae. Alright, I'm gonna keep going looking for more frames. This here is foundationless frame. We'll leave this alone. Let them finish this off. So what I need is probably like two more brood frames, at least one more, like this for example. Look at that, that's beautiful. This side's full, this side too. So what this is, these are all, all nurse bees and they're gonna stay with the queen probably. They're gonna stay actually with the brood because that's their job, is to keep the brood warm and allow it to hatch. Another foundationless comb or foundationless frame. Beautiful, another frame of bees. What you probably don't want is to take any queen cups over. I marked the queen cups in here. But look at that frame. So that's something you want so they can hatch and get to work, even some drone. Uh, there's a queen cup, but it's empty, but I'm gonna destroy that anyway. So we're gonna add this frame too. So we got So we got like two or three frames of brood. Um, the rest I'm gonna leave for these bees because there is a lot of brood frames left in here, believe me. And I'm gonna leave that here so they can actually get some more bees because some of the bees are gonna die off before the queen mates and starts laying again. So this hive is gonna go down in numbers first before it builds right back up. So I will take, and take some more bees and shake them off in the box because some of the bees will go back then I'm gonna take this box over to the other um, hive and actually set the frames down. So I'm just gonna shake them right on top here. See that? We're gonna leave this here. They're gonna come in and cover that up. Now look at this frame. Just wanted to show you this. This is a foundationless comb. It's entirely drone brood. That's insane.
Look at that. What I'm gonna do is actually take them over to their new hive and then we're gonna see if the queen's in there as we take the frames out, that's all. So let's go to the other hive. All right, so uh, what I have in here now is actually you see all the pollen, kept off honey, some more honey, and one more frame of honey too. So that's, um, that was in here for my other hives. I got a bunch of bees flying all over the place. Go on in your new home. So very carefully, just go ahead and take the queen. I want to make sure I see the queen. There she is. She is right here. So we're going to set her down carefully away from those frames and then just slide that over. That way she's safe. Now she's in there. We're going to put the rest of the frames in there as well. So this brood frame, we're going to put that in there right there too. Both sides are brood. Right next to that one slowly. Another brood frame on both sides. So that's at least two. I think I've got one more, but I know at least got two. Two food, two, um, Cap off. Yep. So this is just some random nectar and a lot of eggs and larvae in different stages in this one. So you want to give them kind of a mix of all kinds of, so they can develop the way they need to. It's getting a little late so I'll have to go a little faster. Some more larvae in all stages some capped off brood lots of bees man the beekeeping is the best thing ever and then one last frame from here which is some more capped off brood amazing so there's at least three frames of this um the reason i did this because they have at least five six frames left in there they have massive massive amount of bees in there they'll be just fine they just have to reclean themselves look at that that's beautiful so now what i have here is just some old comb with a queen cup uh, that's gone um has a little bit of nectar and pollen so we're gonna put that in here too but before I put that, um, I'm just gonna put these empty, drawn out frames. Destroy these queen cups. Just so she can lay in here some more while she's, while they're doing things, she can actually go ahead and start laying. Just a random empty frame. So the plus side to making splits the second year is because you have all these extra frames from the year before it gives um gives them a boost basically it's like adding a nook okay some more random nectar and pollen we'll put all of that in there and now we have two four six eight ten twelve thirteen frames um uh, what may you might ask why so many well the six or seven frames i put in are full, full of brood uh, nectar and everything else. These um, last five, six frames are just empty frames so she can start laying right away. So that's it, we're gonna go ahead and close them. And check, on, check up on them once a while. 